Currently, DC Comics is making fun of Jared Leto's Joker in the most recent Harley Quinn The Animated Series tie-in comic. However, Leto has faced criticism for his portrayal of the notorious villain before, and we are convinced that it won't be the last. So let's take a look at what they had to say along with other important DC news. First up, DC's Harley Quinn series makes a very funny remark about Jared Leto's take on the Joker. Check this out. Now DC had made fun of Jared Leto's Leto's portrayal of the Joker in the most recent Harley Quinn the Animated Series tie-in comic by giving him a brand new tattoo that hilariously makes light of the character. The comic introduces a version of the villain who has a twisted tattoo directly on his forehead, a blatant joke at Leto's Joker's expense. The first appearance of the Joker as played by Jared Leto was in the DC Extended Universe film Suicide Squad. This version of the iconic Batman villain with tattoos and bleached hair was a fresh take on the role. However, Leto would only reprise the role once again in Zack Snyder's Justice League, when he appeared in the Nightmare sequence at the close of the movie due to the mixed reactions to his portrayal of the Joker and his performance in the role. Due to his over-the-top performance, Leto's Joker has been the target of memes and jokes since it came out, and even Teen Titans Go making fun of him. It's now time for Harley Quinn the Animated Series to follow suit. Within the series, the Mayor Joker from the Animated Universe encounters his own three Joker-like clowns in the tale Two Jokers in the most recent installment. The Joker doesn't want to see his college mate again because he finds the clown garish and amusing. Later in the issue, after the two had a dispute, they recall a photo of the three Jokers, making fun of Jared Leto's portrayal of the Joker as he sits between them with a twisted tattoo on his forehead. The third Joker is obviously a parody of Jared Leto's portrayal of the villain, as evidenced by his facial tattoo and bleached hair which are reminiscent to the clown prince of crime from the Suicide Squad. The two Jokers even say that if the other Joker saw them right away, he would be disappointed in them. So what do you think about this? Do you like Jared Leto's version of the Joker, or was it simply a flop? Now we thought it would be only right to mention some of the upcoming DC films and series. So let's take a look at a few, beginning with Black Adam, which is set to debut on October 21st this year. DC has spent a lot of time circulating rumors about plans for Black Adam's standalone movie. Additionally, Dwayne Johnson has been in talks with Warner Brothers for years about playing the Shazam villain Black Adam on the big screen. Now, it has taken some time for everything to develop, but now it is happening. The supervillain-focused epic, directed by Jungle Cruise's Jean Coyette Serra, is forthcoming in the wake of Shazam. After describing the anti-hero slash roots, villains including those as a slave, Black Adam will jump forwards 5,000 years to show him facing up against the first big screen iteration of the Justice Society. Adam Smasher will be played by Noah Centineo, and Aldous Hodge's Hawkman, Pierce Brosnan's Dr. Fate, and Cyclone will also appear, Quintessa Swindell. We know that the movie was initially scheduled for a 2021 release. However, COVID-19 related production difficulties caused the release to be temporarily postponed. However, it is currently set to be the second live action DC movie to be released released in 2022, with an October 2022 release date. Secondly, Gotham Knights is a series you can look forward to if you are a DC fan, and it's coming in December this year. The CW will debut the DC television series Gotham Knights on December 1st, 2022. The series depicts a gloomy time in Gotham when Batman has passed away and his own adopted son, Turner Hayes, is the murder suspect, played by Oscar Morgan. However, Hayes has been falsely accused of the crime and is looking to his friends Carrie Kelly, played by Nevia Robinson, and Stephanie Brown, played by Anna Laurie, for help in clearing his name. They then discover that there's something much more nefarious going on in Gotham than Hayes framing. So, it's up to this group of fugitives to take Batman's place as Gotham's new protectors. Next up, The Flash, coming in June 2023. Barry Allen will next be featured in his very own solo Flash movie, following his cameos in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Justice League, and and lastly, Suicide Squad. Unfortunately, a great deal of drama behind the scenes has allowed for a lot of time to pass. Initially, writer Seth Graham Smith was slated to make his feature film directorial debut with the film, but Warner Brothers instead gave the job to Rick Famuyiwa. He signed up for the film, but sadly quit after a few months due to creative issues. That resulted in Game Night, co-creators John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein boarding, but they have now left and the movie will now be be directed 
directed by Andy Machete. The fact that the screenwriter Christina Hodson is essentially making a special version of Flashpoint for the big screen, complete with time travel and alternative timelines, has been revealed. Batman, played by Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton, will appear in two different iterations in the movie, and the Caped Crusader will create a brand new costume specifically for the title character. Additionally, Sasha Cali's portrayal of a brand new Supergirl will be featured in the movie. Another one to look forward to includes the film Blue Beetle arriving August 2023. It's strange that neither DC nor Marvel had produced a standalone film about a Latinx character in this era of increasingly diverse blockbuster superheroes. But that's finally changing with DC's Blue Beetle movie. Although it was initially intended to be an HBO Max exclusive, the big screen adventure, which stars Jamie Reyes' version of the hero, is now scheduled to be released in theaters. In February, in February 2021, Angel Manuel Soto, Charm City Kings, who previously worked on the script with Gareth Donadal Coser, 2019's Miss Bala, signed on to helm the film. In August of the same year, Cobra Kai's Jolo Maradueña was cast in the lead role. Since then, Harvey Gillen, Bruno Marquezine, and Belisa Escobedo have joined the project's supporting cast. Finally, the Joker sequel, which is set to hit the big screen in 2024. The 2009 release of Todd Phillips' Joker was a huge success, receiving overwhelmingly positive reviews, grossing over $1 billion worldwide, and giving lead actor Joaquin Phoenix his first Academy Award. There was no anticipation that Warner Brothers would pass up the opportunity to make money by forging a sequel. Therefore, Joker, Foya Du, will be released in 2024. Now, very little is currently known about the plot of the Joker sequel, but it has been announced that Lady Gaga will co-star as Harley Quinn. It is anticipated that she will play the character considerably different than Margot Robbie has in the DC Extended Universe flicks. And lastly, DC could be bringing back the Justice League. Here's what you need to know. The studio's main franchise, DC, is now even more in doubt as a result of Warner Brothers' merger with Discovery. Despite some big ups and downs over the past few years, the DCU and WB will celebrate its 10th anniversary next year. Following Zack Snyder, the universe was all but abandoned after the disappointment disappointing Justice League film from 2017. Eventually, everything came together once more, with The Flash scheduled to be a semi-reboot of events in 2023. However, it appears that things have diverged from the original plan, which was set back in 2020. The decision to return Michael Keaton's Batman in a supporting role was made by Walter Hamada, who is still the current CEO of DC. In order to maintain Robert Pattinson's hero distinct and free of the burden of a surrounding universe. However, However, following the abrupt cancellation of Batgirl, new CEO David Zaslav appears to have abandoned that strategy. Producer Dan Lin has apparently been chosen by Zaslav to succeed Hamada and prepare a future for the DCU that is more in line with Marvel and places a strong emphasis on interconnection. Lin has prior experience working on a Justice League film, thankfully for DC fans, not the 2017 version, and has already spoken publicly about his love for the series and his desire to see a team-up film, which may provide some insight into what the new head has planned for the future. There could be a new Justice League film in the works. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the DC's Harley Quinn series and the jokes they've included regarding Jared Leto's take on the Joker. Now make sure to let us know your thoughts down below, and as always, thanks for watching.